Yo, what's up YouTube? This is your boy AKW back with another video showing you guys how to make a USB bootable drive with the new Mac OS High Sierra. So let's get into it. <laughs> Alright, so we're back with another video teaching you how to make a bootable USB drive with the new Mac OS High Sierra. So we're going to need three things, which is this same software here, which is this Maker X7 for High Sierra. I'll have the link for that in the description. The next thing we're going to need is a 8 gigs USB drive, uh, preferably with nothing on it. So if you have a USB, a 8 gig USB drive laying around, that's perfect, you can use that. The next thing that we're gonna need is the Mac High Sierra installment from the Mac Store. So you wanna download this directly from the Mac Store, from the App Store, from on your Mac. So once you get that, we're gonna open up the disk utility, which is the disk maker. We're gonna come with these options here, which is cancel, use another copy, or use this copy. So I'm gonna choose the option for use another copy. So that's gonna take me, once I choose it, it's gonna take me to where I have my Mac OS installer located. Now, the pop-up box is not gonna come up. You have to press the icon jumping inside the dock. So now, once you get taken to it, you look for wherever you have your Mac OS High Sierra located. You look for wherever you have it downloaded. Mine is in my application, so that's what I choose. So now, you're gonna come to this, a warning sign, asking you about your 8 gig USB drive. So we wanna use the 8 gig USB drive that we are gonna install this on. And it's gonna come up with this option again, asking you, to select that USB drive. So you select that USB drive that you want to use and then press choose this disk. Once you've done that, it's going to come up with another warning screen basically telling you, hey, if stuff is on, this is going to get erased. So just erase it and let's go on. If you have nothing on that, you don't want to use. All right, so now we're going to click this option and then it's going to go through this next box and press continue. Once you press continue, then everything is going to go on OK. Now, it's going to look like nothing is happening, but there is something happening in the background. In a few seconds, it's going to ask you for your password, and then uh, find a folder is going to show up. But I'm not going to let you guys sit here and watch you all of this, because this could take a little while. It took me like about 32 minutes for all of this to be complete. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward this and come back, and I'll have everything shown for you guys while this fast forward. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the just coming to the end right now. Once you see these little pop-up box here, asking you to make a donation or open set up this you preferences or quit the utility, then that means it's all done. It's all complete. Now your USB bootable drive is complete and you can start using it now on any one of your Macs that you want to use that you want to boot up with a USB. All right, so that's everything, ladies and gentlemen. That's been the end of this video. Hope to see you guys again. If you do like this video, 
and you do want to see more content from me, please rate, comment, and subscribe, all right? Please like the video, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? So keep it classy, ladies and gentlemen.